In this video, we are going to create a slider to be displayed on the landing page of an app. You can create such a slider using the page view widget of Flutter and I am going to show you how to do that. I have already created a new Flutter project and this is the default code of the main.dart file. I will keep the main function and the my app widget but I am going to remove this widget my homepage because we are going to create our own widget to display the intro slider. So let's remove this and inside the lib folder create a new file. Let's name it intro slider.dart. Inside this file, create a new stateless widget. Let's use this shortcut stles of Android Studio and create a stateless widget. Let's name it intro slider. To get rid of these errors, you have to import the missing library. And here we are going to import, import material.dart. You can take the cursor to the missing class and Press Alt and Enter and select the appropriate option. Now open the file main.dart and here inside the my app widget we have this material app widget. To the property home of this widget pass an instance of the new widget that we have created just now. Here too we have to import the file intro slider.dart. Now run the app and you will notice a blank screen appearing on your device. This is blank because we have not created the layout yet and we are going to do that now. Now come back to the widget intro slider and from the build function return an instance of the widget page view. This widget has a property children which can take a list of widgets and to this list pass three instances of the container widget and pass different colors to the property color of these three container widgets. Now save the changes and notice that we have three pages of different colors on our app now. So we have a simple slider at this moment. Now let us display an image and some text at the center of the center of each of these pages. For that first of all let us bring the images that we are going to display to our project. First of all, create a folder inside the root folder of our project directory. Let's name it assets and keep the images inside this folder. I have downloaded some images and I am going to paste them here. Now register these assets inside the pubspec.yml file. Open the file pubspec.yml and inside this section flutter, you will find this portion commented by default. So you have to add a section named assets. You can uncomment this and below this add register the directory where we have kept the images. Now inside this file intro slider create a new widget each page to create to represent the layout of each of the individual pages of our slider of our page view. So from this widget from the build function of this widget return a column. And to the list children of this column widget, add an image and we are also going to add a text widget. For creating the image, let's use the constructor assets because we are going to display the images from our project itself from the assets directory. Because this widget image has different constructor for loading images from different sources like network, assets, file, etc. So we are going to use this constructor assets and we have to pass the path of the image here. But we are going to pass the path from the intro slider widget. We shall create two fields inside this class, each page, one for the image path and another for the tagline, the text to be displayed below the image. Let's also initialize them inside the constructor. And the co we have to remove this constant keyword because this is no longer a constant. Now while creating this image widget using this constructor asset pass this variable image path for the path of the image to be displayed. And for the text to be displayed pass the variable tagline and we are going to provide the values while creating the instance of each page inside intro slider. 
now inside the intro slider widget replace the container widgets by instances of this new widget each page and while creating the instance of the widget each page we have to pass the path of the image to be displayed as the first parameter and as the second parameter we have to pass the text to be displayed below the image the images are not getting loaded i may have entered a wrong path let's see and this slash should not be there so let's remove them and now save and the images appears and it takes to does not look good as this moment as we have not added a scaffold to our widget so let us wrap this page view by an instance of the scaffold widget and this widget scaffold does not have a property child it has body so let's change this to body save and now it looks good at this moment these images are a little large to make them smaller let's specify the height and width using the property height and width let's pass 200 for each of the properties height and width let's also increase the font size of this text widget for that we have to use the widget text style we have to pass an instance of this widget text style to the property style of the widget text and to the constructor of text style we shall pass 18 for the parameter font size and we are also going to make the text bold by providing font weight dot bold to the property font weight now save the changes and this looks a little better but we are going to bring this to the center of the page and for that pass main axis alignment dot center to the property main axis alignment of this widget column and now it looks better now let us display two buttons towards the bottom of the page one for login and one for registration so this is a common structure right so we are going to use a widget called stack to overlap widgets so we can use a column where we can the first child will be the page view and the second child will be a row where we'll keep the but buttons that is one way but here i'm going to use tag so in this case the buttons will be overlapping the page view but as we don't have any content towards the bottom of the page view it won't matter so wrap this page view by a widget stack so this tag has a property children which takes a list of widgets so we have to make some changes here change this child to children and enclose this page view inside a list and add another child to this list this time we are going to add a row and inside this row we are going to add two elevated buttons now if you save the changes you will notice the two buttons at the top left corner of the page we shall bring them to the bottom for that we are going to wrap this row by an instance of the widget align and we are going to provide alignment dot bottom center to the property alignment of this widget and to make these buttons occupy the maximum available space horizontally inside the row we are going to enclose them inside the widget named expanded let's also wrap these buttons by the widget padding to make them look a little better and here we have a good looking intro slider a landing page where we have a slider and we have buttons to take the user to the login or registration action now if you also want to display an indicator indicating which page is selected at this moment and how many pages are there then i'll add a link to another video in the video description and also in the end screen 